Hi everybody, Tracy Brown. So I'm outside of my lanai, so if you hear some wind blowing or the little wind chimes going today, that's what's happening. So um, just wanna, hopefully that's not distracting for you as we talk today. So something really important comes up in my sessions all the time is, you know, people really want to be more free. They want to eat a bigger variety of food and not worry about food so much. And one of the things that it always seems to my clients that what holds them back. And I'll put myself in that category too. I was afraid to eat more variety, eat what I wanted, eat more, because I was totally convinced, and you might be too, that if I eat more food, I'm gonna gain 100 pounds or 300 pounds and this thing that I think I can't be okay with or handle. And sometimes we don't really even know why we're afraid of that until we get dig a little deeper. And of course people will say, so, well, of course, if I gain weight, then I won't like myself. And so I ask people to go into this dialogue with me. And so you might see me reading a little bit today because I wrote down some really important things that I um, worked through with a client just yesterday. And it was really profound for her, so I'm hoping it might be helpful to you too. So basically the conversation started out with, she goes, oh, my butt is too big. And then I said, of course, well, too big for what? and too big for what? And the, what she said was my personal aesthetics and uh, like the ideal body I think I should have. And I said, well, for whom? Who is this body for? And she'd worked with me long enough to know that it, she wasn't gonna say like, well, it's for to be with the cultural ideal or to for somebody else. Like, oh, it's just for me. Okay, so for you to do what? Or to be what? You know, what is it like having a smaller butt would do for her? And she said, of course, well, I'll feel better. I'll feel good. And I'll, then, of course, I always say, well, feel better or feel good about what? And that's where people start to have to think and dig a little deeper. And I'm hoping you do the same. And so the next thing she said was my ability. And I said, well, your ability to do what? And she said, control myself. Interesting, huh? We want a smaller butt to control ourselves. So how does that work? And again, I asked her, well, how would it be having a smaller butt would help you control yourself? And she said, well, it would be where, I get to control where and what I do, and that will make me feel good. And I said, well, tell me more about that. What is it that you can control about your actions? You know, so say more. And what came out of her mouth was, I'll be productive and not be lazy. And so I went through a series of many things that I know about her that she would be the last thing that people would suggest that she'd be lazy about. And so then she says, well, at least I can give the appearance through my body that I'm not lazy. Meaning she believed that she thought everybody else thought how she was or that other people would think if I have a smaller butt that will make me look like I'm more productive and not lazy. And I said, oh, so you're totally disregarding the fact that you are not lazy and you're highly productive in your life. And I said, well, what makes it important for you to give the appearance that you are productive through the size of your butt? And she said, then she said, of course, well, everybody thinks that and that's how I was raised, to believe that like per being productive is what is worthy. Like that's how I could be worthy is how productive I am. And I said, well, what does worthiness mean to you? She says that I'll get my needs met. And then what? And then she says, I'll be loved. And so you guys, when we're talking about my my butt is too big and I can't be happy or my thighs are too big or my belly's too big or my, my breasts are too big or they're too small. What we're saying in, at some level is, is having a wholeness that doesn't feel like enough or feels like too much, meaning we're too much for people the way we are. And so that's what I would love you guys to dig into today as you listen to this video, maybe listen to it or watch it again, is dig into the how come and then what. 
every single time you tell yourself that something about your body is not good enough. I hope this was helpful. And if you have more questions about how to dig deeper into that for yourself, or if you want me to help you along with that, please you know, check below in the contact information where we can talk more. All right, thank you so much. I hope to hear from you soon and take care. Thank you for watching, bye.